Okay, this is the first play in the series. We actually had a good kickoff that got us down to the 10. So we start with a wide zone play here at 11 personnel, and we're into the end zone. So we don't get the opportunity to run the second play till the second series, but that's okay. Our players are going out there. You see their wristbands on some of them. Uh, they're going to go out. Look at that wristband. We tell them off the sideline. We are in play number two, which actually is a personnel group. So we'll move on and off the field as quickly as possible. I know officials might stop and slow the game down, but our idea is we want to move uh, as fast as we can and set the defense and go. So we go ahead and run draw on the second play there out of a, a 10 personnel group. And you see that we go into essentially a 21 here. Um, but really it was, it was uh, I'd call it a 22. That guy in motion was a tight end who was lined to the outside. And we go back to a wide zone play. This time we called that a, a wide zone lead or um, Mike, outside zone Mike. And we get a nice gain. You see our guys looking at their wristbands. Another group comes onto the field. Now we're back into what would be an 11 personnel for us. Two by two formation in the pistol. And we go ahead and run our spacing concept, swing it out to the back here and get some nice yardage. We're going to continue on. At this point, no reason to break our openers. We're in play five of our openers. We actually go into a different personnel group here, uh, which is two tight end or three tight end H-back types, two receivers and our Wildcat quarterback. So we're going to go in motion and we pin and pull this, run our pin and pull sweep with some jet motion. Okay, and then continue on. The next one actually brings in two more tight ends. So this is five from our tight end personnel group, our Wildcat quarterback. We call this 15 personnel, and we actually come right back with pin and pull, which is a big part of our game plan. And again, establishing some of our base plays, even though they might be out of different personnel groups. Continuing on, we go back to uh, our quarterback here, essentially what would be um, – 22 personnel, that's a tight end in motion, even though he started out there as a flanker. We wanted to come back to that zone lead play. We do it again, so that was actually in our openers twice. We liked it, uh, so we put it in there twice this particular week. We go into 10 personnel here, okay? We're going to run our four vert switch. We hit the guy on the hash, and we continue on. And at this point, we have not broken our sequence. We're on play nine here. And we had a reverse plan. So Bill Wallace believed in putting in specials for us, something we wanted to do, get some nice blocking out of that, and a big gain. Okay, we go to play 10 right here, actually right within our script. And we are back into uh, a 21 type of personnel. Uh, 22, I should say, because that's a tight end in motion. And now where we've been going the other way, to his side, we come back to the opposite side and run that wide zone play again. So you see pin and pull, wide zone, we're a big part of the game plan. And here we break script. So we didn't have a short yarded goal line play plan. We put our goal line group in and we're into the end zone. So in those first 10 plays, we essentially had two scores. And for us, that was the way we wanted to use openers, uh, be successful with them, get a lot of things right away on film. We had a special, we had base plays, and we were pretty successful with what we did.